This must be the place Anne told me about. No one's been here for ages. Never found that clue. No. Hmm. How did you do this, Jackdaw? not it. Oh, it's no wonder I never found that clue. Oh, that's done something. Could now whip me, Jackdaw. Now, where's the clue you left behind? Jackdaw. Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? Rebellion. Lumos. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? 
A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves, and then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best for her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been travelling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. If you don't mind my asking, how did you lose your head? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well... Light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do find yourself in a cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for, specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Helen mentioned Apollonia Black. Did she set up Anne to take the fall? Have you never met any members of the Black family? They can be rather... vindictive. Once Anne showed an interest in me, Apollonia couldn't let it alone. That her own heart had grown cold simply didn't matter. How is it possible to steal from Peeves? A poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. Found them on the floor outside the library where he discarded them. Not my luckiest find, all things considered. Thank you. I need to find those pages. To help a friend. I shall see you there.
Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It would take the patience of a Hufflepuff to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm, yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Nothing to do now but keep going. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Oh 
nice to see you, my young friend. Intramuros. A little far from home. Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But, uh... Loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jackdaw has led me. I wonder how big this place is. doesn't stay lit for long. I need to light all three before they time out on me. Didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Going to touch those. Here we go.
Cardenia. ought to be able to float straight to me. skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this. Yeah. Untouched chest. Chapter wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Another puzzle. Well, if Jack Daw could solve this, so can I.
I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. <laughs> Not a headless skeleton in sight. But I may as well help myself to this. Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be?
Bethania. chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave.
There it is. The bridge. It's almost complete. More spiders. This can't be what the head of it is. since Jackdaw came this way. Rebellion. thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot. There's no sign of him. I'll need to look around for the symbol. Closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. There's Jackdaw looking dead as ever. What happened here? Might it happen again? Here it is the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm, is there something beyond this room?
am I? Oh man, the room is starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And... Might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm, that is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place.
pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Handy resource indeed, your... I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Hmm. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Depulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Rebellion. One up, one to go.
Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. I had my own the brooms room. are school property. This I want them returned in here. one piece. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What have you? Hello. Nice day for a flight. Brilliant. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <sighs> I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't probably met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it?
ahead of the gardens. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. <gasps> How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Plaintiffs and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. Perhaps, but we did get in trouble and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Madam Kugawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Hufflepuff should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, Meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions.
Vell. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Revenia. You not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Rude and Peck said a customer lost a deer all around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought you could have got her a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. <sighs> Instead, I just wasted our time. There you are. Ha! Huh, finally, I'll have enough for that wind wisp. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it as always. Off on another adventure, are we?
forests off. I can't tell you what a relief that... Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? Any whispers going about the town? You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. <laughs> better than most other places, too. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Hope to see you again sometime. 